All right, a while back I did a video on core depressors and just how useful they are. And I wanted to do a follow-up video. Um, so core depressors are the best solution I've found to preventing refrigerant loss and also just keeping frost off your fingers. And, um, you know, some of these service valves are in really, really bad locations. I have no idea why manufacturers do that, but in some cases, um, like I have a video of a train unit, you, you can't get your hose even on the service valve without losing a ton of refrigerant and, and um, most likely burning up your fingers. So anyways, I, I love these things. All they are is they screw onto the flare and then you've got a little pin in there that depresses the Schrader core and then you, you can take a pressure reading. Uh, so I've always used this style from C&D um, and this is the full size. Recently I found um, I found one of these at a supply house so I just bought it because it was pretty cheap. And wanted to talk about the difference between these two models. This one's also made by CND, I believe. But um, you can tell this one's quite a bit heavier duty, a uh, lot bigger uh, thumb wheel, and the knurling is a lot better. But um, this is pretty fine thread. You have to turn it quite a bit to get that pin to come out. Um, and it's a lot bigger, so. It's a lot harder to fit in tight spaces. This one here is quite a bit cheaper, but very low profile. Um, the gasket in there is not quite as good. This is more like the uh, kind of O-rings you see in core remover tools. But even though this is kind of a junky little O-ring, um, you can just take one out of a cap and put it in there. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but in other words, you got the O-rings readily accessible, so even though that wears out faster, um, it's not a big deal. Now, the, the thumb screw is too small in my opinion, but it is very coarse thread, so you can depress the core with just like a single turn. Uh, it really moves that pin a lot. So. I don't know. I've I've switched over to using this, and uh, I like it a lot. And um, I think, at, you know, I I think this could be a valid alternative. They're quite a bit cheaper to the to the full size. So anyway, just wanted to uh, share that, and um, I'll try to put the uh, two model numbers for each of these down in the description. Uh, so, anyways, that's just part two of the uh, core depressor video.